In 2023, we actually lost 3,574 subscribers and gained 5.7 million views throughout 2023. These are the type of stats I want to discuss within this video because it's data that runs the world and points channels in directions that they need to go into. So in this video, we're going to look at what worked, what didn't work, what I changed with my content this year, and what this channel is going to be like moving forward. I love getting into the nitty gritty details when it comes to the analytics of YouTube, minor tweaks with your content following the data can make a huge impact on your channel i know a lot of people who watch this channel are content creators or aspiring content creators so i hope this video gives you something to learn about when it comes to youtube and if you learned anything you know likes always appreciated so this year i made a big focus to release short form content along with long form content and also try live streaming on youtube on this channel and while the short form video stuff really paid off this year my top 10 most viewed videos on the channel were short short form videos. I even have my first 1 million view video on this channel talking about Captain Price's voice actor changing. And this is an old short that's kind of been evergreen for a long time. I released this back in 2022. Next one being Hogwarts Legacy, which reached 600,000 viewers. This was just a fun rip from a live stream that I edited up to create a narrative of saying my default character kind of looked like Tom Holland. Another Hogwarts Legacy video, me roasting the living quarters that Hufflepuffs have. A Halo lore video about Tom A293. This was released right when that seasonal event happened where you can unlock his armor and coating and stuff like that. So it was very timely and informative and people really enjoyed it. I tried out something completely different with an interview series I did at the HDS Seattle event and you guys seemed to really enjoy these. I also dipped a toe into some Starfield content as well and a lot of you guys really enjoyed it. I find short form content being a great way to experiment with content without destroying your long form algorithm. And it's also a great way just to get eyeballs on your content. There is a bit of an issue with short form viewers though. From my experience, it's been 73% of short form viewers only watch short form content. And YouTube did add a feature where you can link videos on the bottom of a short so people click through that to watch the full video kind of thing. But I found that click through rate to be absolutely abysmal. For example, the 1 million view short I had in a single day received 70,000 views. The linked video from that short that had 70,000 people watching a single day had 378 people watch. So what I'm really trying to say is yeah you can make short form content get your name out there but the thing is you don't want to be known as a guy who makes short form content because short form viewers really just stick to short form they don't really transfer over the long form this is something i really would like to see youtube try to improve in the future where the algorithm in some kind of way can see if you like this type of short form content maybe you might like that long form content but right now it seems like it's two different worlds happening and to be real the short form revenue while it was improved it's not that great you definitely want to make long long form content if you want to make this hobby into some kind of side income. I see plenty of content creators out there that receive hundreds of thousands, millions of views even on their short form content, but then struggle to break a thousand views on a long form video. Enough about the short form, what about the long form, the meat and potatoes of this channel, the eight minute long YouTube content that people strive for? Well, we did pretty well for ourselves this year, given the fact that we are a Halo based channel and Halo the first half of the year we're kind of struggling. In the long form videos, we received 1.2 million views on the channel, which was a 50% decrease from last year. Even though my content style didn't really change a whole lot, I really just kind of attribute this loss really from just the lack of interest in Halo Infinite. I also significantly changed my thumbnail format this year, where before I had like the white text of the game that you're playing, and then the yellow text was telling you what you're going to watch. Then an image that was either tied to the video or just a cool looking Spartan. But now I switched it up just the white text at the top and then just imagery because I want to do more show less tell when it comes to the thumbnails that's why you have titles and descriptions of your video to tell people what you're going to watch but you need to show them by enticing them with that thumbnail and looking at the graph it's still about 7.2 percent click through rate it didn't really significantly improve people wanting to click on the content but I feel like having a cleaner thumbnail is really important and gives you more space to show to entice people to click on the content and you might think only 7.2 percent of people click on your channel that's actually pretty pretty good for YouTube stuff. In marketing, a click-through rate of above 3% is considered really good. Well, having a good thumbnail and title is more than just half the battle. It's like 95% of the battle. But you also wanna make sure you follow up with that thumbnail title with good content that people stay and watch. My videos are normally about eight minutes long when it comes to content. My average viewer duration was three minutes and 48 seconds for the year. Of course, YouTube loves it when people click on your video and not only that, stay and watch. So you need to make sure that the content that is within that video is really good and 
enticing and engaging. That's actually one thing I also mixed up this year was having more gameplay content. And these videos were kind of hit or miss. If I had a good topic to showcase something new within Halo, then the video did all right. If it was just kind of like a standard playlist rotation where say like ranked tactical Slayer came in, you guys didn't really care much for it, which in turn let me know that if there's any type of gameplay related content I want to make on this channel, it better be something that's rather significant, new, and fun, but also have something to talk about over the video besides just saying, ooh, ah, I died. So moving forward, you definitely will get those details whenever Halo information drops, but I might try to make them some new gameplay related things, maybe showcasing some Forge content or a new playlist that comes in. A huge change I made this year for content wise is in the live streaming department. I used to stream every Tuesday and Thursday over on Twitch. We have a significant following over there, but I found the channel being rather stagnant, not really moving anywhere. And the thing about Twitch streaming is that if you're not live, your channel might as well not even exist. So I took a major backseat when it came to streaming, basically dropped that style of content on the channel and then moved over to YouTube, which I feel allows more of a casual streaming schedule for me. And if there was anything interesting or new that happened with Halo that day, then yeah, I'd put on a live stream and check it out. Judging by the data and engagement, that it looks like I need to work better on having more fun, interesting live streams. I started getting some pretty good engagement when it came to watch parties whenever like a new trailer dropped or something like that. We would get over 100 concurrent viewers on the channel easily which is amazing. One thing I'm actually kind of playing around with the idea with is doing like a live show podcast type of thing or like a live discussion with viewers in some kind of way I think would be a really fun idea. But I'll definitely keep up with the live streaming here on YouTube. I just need to work harder on making it a more engaging experience. So 2024 was it going to be looking like on this channel? Well I'm still going to be giving you guys the latest and greatest in Halo information, news, and details. I'm going to try experimenting a little bit more with the short form content. If anything picks up from there, then make a long form video about it. And I feel like the live stream side of things is something that I could create something really interesting. And I want to try out some new stuff right there, which hopefully would lend itself into making some short form content or even some long form content from the live streams as well. So it feels like there's three separate parts of the channel, but I want to try to find a way to just merge it all into one giant experience. Hopefully you found this video inside if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for the support throughout 2023. It's been a rough year, but also a good year at the same time. And let's hope that 2024 is a little better. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.